fantastic. Well, summer's come early here in the southeast of England. It's late March and last couple of days it's been 20 something degrees. Sky is dead clear, as you can see, and I'm really excited tonight to be trying to take an image of the Pinwheel Galaxy or M101. My name is John and I make videos on camping, astronomy and walking. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as there may be others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with today's video. This is the gear that I'm going to be using tonight. I love astrophotography in the springtime. It's dark at about half eight, nine o'clock, sort of now. And um, if it's been a nice day, it's still quite mild and warm in the garden. So it's really nice to be able to sit outside without freezing to death as you do in the winter. Um, so I'm really looking forward to tonight. So the Pinwheel Galaxy, or Messier 101 is a face-on spiral galaxy about 20 million light years away. It's actually huge, it's about um, twice the size of, the, of our own Milky Way galaxy, but because it's so far away it's going to appear quite small, particularly in the field of view given by my equipment there. Um, it's got a very wide field of view which means that the galaxy itself will be quite small, but nonetheless I'm hoping that um, even with cropping, we should see some nice detail in the spiral arms. I've probably got about an hour to do my imaging. The moon's going to come up at about 10 o'clock or 10.30, and it's a 98% moon. So once that's up, that's just going to wash everything out the sky. So um, yeah, let's crack on and see what we get with an hour's worth of exposures. That's my imaging session up and running now. I'm going to take um, one hour's worth of one minute exposures and that should get me finished um, just before the moon starts making its presence felt. So um, I'm going to dive indoors now and get me tea and come back in an hour. Okay, that's that session finished now. Um, so I've got an hour's worth of exposure, so we'll see how that turns out tomorrow. Uh, I'm a crack of sparrows in the morning so I'm going to call it a day now and I'll do the processing tomorrow using my usual stacking in sequitur and my normal processing routine in Photoshop and I'll bring you back and show you the result once I've finished with that. So good night for now. Afternoon folks, well as you can see Behind me there, it's an absolutely gorgeous day again today. Uh, lovely blue skies, nice and warm. So um, yeah, spring's definitely sprung here in the southeast of the UK. Um, I had a lovely evening last night. It was really nice to be out there and not cold. And I took 63 60 second exposures at ISO 1600 in the end. And then I had to pack it in um, partly because I needed to get to bed because I was um, up early and partly because the moon was beginning to rise and uh, it was a big moon so that was going to wash everything out. Um, but anyway I processed my pictures, stacked them and, and put them into Photoshop to do a bit of processing and I'm really really chuffed with, with the outcome considering there's only an hour's worth of exposure there. It's um, easily the best picture that I've taken of that particular uh, galaxy. So uh, yeah, without any more ado, I shall um, put that one up now and I look forward to seeing you again next time. So cheerio.